Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the African Dominion or South Sudan, depending on how you want to put this. So what we're doing right now is just positioning troops along the border here. Or basically in positions where we're going to be fighting against our uh, current neighbors. I'm also calling up a significant, as you can tell, a significant number of troops up. Uh, there's only one border, really, so I'm just going to put troops there. I'm deploying, I'll say, the majority of our forces now. Uh, majority of our forces in the last couple match, in the last couple battles, or even invasions, were not actually at full. Invasioniness, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, basically, we actually didn't have the full military called up or even activated. As you can see, there's a lot of units here in the south that were never actually brought forth into the conflict. Um, yeah, let's move these guys down. Yeah, down here. So as we speak, we're just getting uh, some of these researches done. Uh, we're also just going to kind of look at our financial situation here. So right now our trades are doing okay. Uh, we're producing way more than we need. Rubber, on the other hand, looks like we're definitely in a deficit for. So let's build some rubber plants, shall we? The rubber plantations. And it should do that. Wood, we're good. Oil, we're good. Coal, we're getting kind of close uh, to falling behind on. And we've already maxed out the good spots from the looks of it for coal. Yeah, we're definitely in a, sp a, a position. A position where the coal... is not the best but we're expanding right so we're gonna have lots more to do when it comes to this stuff especially when we advance into like things like turkey metal we're gonna build some composite ore build seven of those we're in the process of building more nuclear power plants so we're gonna build some more uranium mines Bring us up to 50. Uh, Power-wise, if I'm not mistaken, we're building... Yeah, we're still building nuclear power plants and hydropower, so we're good there. Consumer goods. Industrial goods, we're pretty far behind on. Military goods, we're good with, but we're behind just for power. So what we're going to do... Build 7 to bring that up to 20. For consumer goods, we're actually going to build 5 more. And industrial goods, we're actually going to double our industrial good capacity. Or not actually double, halving by double. Sorry. Uh, so we're building 92 facilities overall. More research breakthroughs, RFIDs. No, oh, let's do some more transport. Uh, vehicle retrofit for advanced cells. Uh, retrofit vehicles, blah, blah, blah. Vehicles will consume 25% less gas. And pollution levels will go down by 10%. I think our people are going to like this, right? No, everyone's a different. I figured they'd be for this. Uh, healthcare rating goes up by three, co up cost by two, no big deal. Healthcare rating goes down by five, but rating goes up by two for improved immunization or Im immunosuppressant. So that's good. So basically, it offsets. Oh, there's a capital ship, BB1 Summit class. Uh, we're using. Hmm. You know what? Let's build two more research facilities. I'll put us at 25. More research breakthrough, smart smart card security. Yeah, so for the next little bit, that's exactly what we're going to do. Is we're going to sit back and just kind of do some trading. And I'm going to up the price there for sure. 
um, you know, let's up our price at least even for most of these things. Oh, actually, no, we're not. You're still going to be a little bit below. I don't need the biggest markup when it comes to this stuff, when it comes to international trade. So breaking even, if not making just a little bit of money is fine for me. Metal. Oh, yeah, metal we can definitely probably get close to making a little bit of money. Coal, oh yeah, for sure. Go for a 6% return there. I wonder if we're the ones that have been slowing down the, the increased market because I haven't been paying attention to it as much as I normally do. Wood. Rubber, we're going to try to go for almost even. Two percent, not too bad. Uh, as for marked imports, I want to import a lot of industrial goods. Germany and I are on okay terms when it comes to when it comes to some of this stuff. So what I would like from you is that much, and I will give you the money equivalent. Same with Russia. Like that much industrial goods, and I will give you that much money for it. Those are probably counter offers, of course. Uh, I will accept that, and I will accept that. And we should see our stocks, yeah, okay. So our daily amount is over a hundred thousand. So right now we've got one day of sustainability. Holy crap. Oh, if I only could invade a country that was a little bit more industrialized. You guys are all stuck on islands that has no good... Wait a second. Some of this stuff is damaged. Why is some of this stuff damaged? Let's do this again. Theater control. Repair. Over you. Theater control, repair, you down here, theater control, repair, and you, theater control, repair. Could be the reason why some of our stuff is falling behind a little bit. Basically here, I'm telling the AI just to buy it at whatever price it needs to buy it at to basically support what we need here. Yeah, I know we got a problem. Really, you consume consumer goods? I did not know that you actually purchased, you actually used consumer goods. So it consumes these two. It's going to max those up. Basically buy it at whatever price you need to buy it at.
It's no big deal. A whole bunch of research has been completed. A whole bunch of shortages and stuff. It's no big deal. Basically, we're just trying to build too much at a short period of time. And I'm honestly not too worried about that. Uh, let's bring these tanks over here because there's not that many units over here. Same with these troops. You're mostly supply. Okay, you're a good mix of everything. You'll help with the invasion of Kuwait. Really, no units selected. Let's try that again. There's a martini there for a second. Okay. I didn't even notice that location. Um, you know what? I'm going to put these guys there. You can go there just to kind of protect our interests. You're a lot of armor. Archer. Okay, you're a good mix of everything, too. Okay. Um, what? Let's move you over there. The plan is to declare war on pretty much uh, Iraq, uh, ISIS, Syria, Kurdistan, sorry, Kurdistan, Kuwait, uh, Yemen, uh, Oman, the UAE, Qatar. Qatar, Qatar, and Bahrain, all at the same time. Uh, I'm going to put a force there in the middle. I'm also going to build some roads here. And from you to you, from you... Like so just because I don't like the fact that we have a lot of towns and villages and stuff in the middle of nowhere this will also help our supply lines quite a significant amount here Go like that. Oh, we got a spy. Spy from Greece. Some more. Oh, aircraft. Aircraft tech is just researched. Here we go. Uh, advanced turbopop prototype. If that says untradeable, yeah, we can't trade for it. What does this lead to? Does this lead to our first batch of aircraft? It does. I like the look of this airplane right at the Bronco. Even in real life, this thing looks cool. Uh, looks like it's a lot of tr bigger, bigger aircraft. Took you. High yield nuclear weapon tests. Uh, yeah. Oh, submarine designs. Designer on submarines. Uh, genetic code sequencing and some society research. But the question is... No, still no aircraft tech. I mean, we have purchased aircraft tech from the Russians. So that's no big deal. Um, we got, what, MiG-29s... MiG MiG 23s, SU 25s, Tupolev 330s, MiG to and MiG 29s. So, I can't see the Americans really wanting to sell us anything. If they do, right, it's always like massively overpriced. 
Oh yeah, I'll definitely take jet air air airplane frames from you. Uh, better tank tech from you. Let's see how much she wants to sell us for here. It's worth one billion, but she wants forty three million, forty three billion for it. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna probably run a deficit. Oh sh. Because we're doing a lot of trading. No, our trades are back up. Because we're buying a lot of stuff we need. So we can get a lot of our construction done. So we're very, very... Let's up our tax rate a little bit here too. Overall, we're probably going to be on a bit of a slide for... Oh, our nuclear reactors look like they've completed. So that's that's a good sign. So how is our power situation now? Still under what we need. That's the maximum amount. Yeah, there we go. Basically want to buy as much as we're using. Electric powers. We have good coal, right? We're building coal reserves right now. This country is in a bit of a folly, which is no no worries. It's all the rubber plants that we're going to be selling. Going to start selling our agriculture at a little bit of a higher price. Um, we can keep our rubber at that price. We're up our price for wood. Up our price for oil. Double up on our price for coal. Same thing actually for metal. Uh, you know what? Let's up uh, enough for our uranium. Now our power, we're going to go up to 800. You, I'm going to go to 10%. Industrial goods, we're selling industrial goods, so let's up our price to 14% markup. You, we're going to up our price as well. But our bigger, biggest Achilles heel right now is industrial goods. So are we still buying industrial goods even though we don't need them? Okay, yeah, stop. Basically, for some reason, our the like we they were <laughs> wow. We were buying a shit ton of industrial goods there for no reason. Industrial goods are all being completed over there, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna highlight here and get more 
ground units moved up. Um, you know what? Let's move them over here. That's going to end this episode. In the next episode, we're going to continue moving troops over to the uh, the borders here, um, kind of tweaking our economy a little bit as we go, and uh, hopefully get to war in the next episode. See you guys then. Bye-bye.